Sarah, Matt, Connecticut's congressional representatives call this important, necessary legislation and say it passed the House today with an impressive bipartisan majority. This is the 63rd straight year Congress has passed the National Defense Authorization Act. This package for fiscal year 2024 authorizes $886 billion in national defense funding, 3% more than last year. The more than three 3,000 page long bill includes a 5.2% pay raise for active and reserve military personnel, the largest raise in more than two decades, as well as a significant investment in the U.S. submarine industrial base, which goes to companies right here in Connecticut as part of the AUKUS pact between the U.S., U.K., and Australia. I think it's a real hallmark to the uh, Armed Services Committees, both House and Senate, that um, despite, again, the real difficult polarization that exists in Washington with divided control in the Congress and um, you know all the drama that we've seen over the past year, that we were still able to, uh, to get this across the finish line. The bill also includes measures House Republicans say are aimed at, quote, ending wokeness in the military, like prohibiting any funding for the teaching or promoting of critical race theory in the military and banning the display of unapproved flags like the pride flag on military installations. What this package does not include to controversial measures related to transgender health care and abortion services. The final legislation nixed two provisions which would have prohibited the Secretary of Defense from paying for or reimbursing abortion services and barred a military health care program from covering hormone treatments or gender confirmation services, surgeries for service members. Sarah, Matt.